um, today I wanted to show you how I play a song called Birds and Ships. Um, this would be part one, and I'll have to do another video to show you the rest of the song. But this is a song that was recorded by Billy Bragg and Wilco, and it featured Natalie Merchant. And I just came across it the other day, and I liked it so much that I sat down and I was playing along with the recording, and I was trying to figure out how Billy played this part, this guitar part. And so I'm not sure if this is 100% correct, but I think it's pretty close um, to what he does. I hope so. Um, when you look at this, what I want you to notice is that these are our six strings of the guitar here, and that's the, you know, the first string, E string, second string, and then third, fourth, fifth, and then that's your low E string on top. In this song, you don't play the sixth string and you don't play the first and second string at all. You only play the third, fourth, and fifth strings. And the other thing to notice is that the third string, you have to tune it down one half step. So you have to take your tuner and uh, tune down to an F sharp. Okay. And most of the notes for, this is the introduction and the first verse. And most of the notes on the fifth string, you notice are just open A notes. You're just playing that fifth string open. There's just one spot here in the middle where you do a little bass run from the fourth fret to the second fret. I play all the notes on the fifth string with my thumb and I play all the notes on the fourth string with my index finger. The only time that you do anything on the third string is the very last note. So it's really the fourth and fifth strings for the introduction in the first verse. In the second verse, we will play the third string a little bit more. The only other thing I can think of to say is that when you play through this from the start and you're going through it, you go all the way to that squiggly line. And when you get there, you come back and you start from the very beginning again. And then you play all the way down until you get to that red dot. And when you get to that red dot, you skip, to, you skip this part and you go to that red dot and that's how you finish. So on the recording, what Billy does is he plays through that whole thing once. That's the introduction. And then he plays through the whole thing again and then that's when Natalie starts singing. And that will be the first verse. And we'll see if we can do all of that today. And um, I've never done tab before. So I hope this makes sense. I always... Think of the notes. Like in my head, I always think A, D, E. You know, I, I don't know why I think that way, but I think of the actual notes. So let's see if this works. So I'm gonna try to squeeze in here. Hopefully you'll be able to see my guitar. And uh, I kind of have to look at it because I just learned it. And I'm gonna try to play through it once, see if I can play it somewhat to tempo, and then I'll come back and I'll break it down. So here's how I'm going to say it now. Whenever I play the fifth string, because it's almost always an open fifth string, I'm just going to say the word thumb. So when I say thumb, I mean open fifth string. And then for the fourth string, I'll say open second fret, fourth fret. So starting right here, I'm going to say thumb open two, thumb four, thumb four, thumb two, thumb two. right to that thumb open right there. Okay, let's try that again. Thumb open two thumb four thumb four thumb two thumb two thumb open. Now it's going to be two and then two again and slide up to four. Open thumb so that's adding this little part. Now we're, we're halfway through it already. Okay? So from the top, let's play it one more time. Thumb open two. Thumb four. Thumb four. Thumb two. Thumb two. Thumb open two. Two slide to four. Open. Thumb open. 
Let me play it up to tempo. That's where we are. And then it goes, now finally we reach a bass run on the fifth string. This is the only time the fifth string does something different. You go four, two, now back to the fourth string. Okay, now this I have to explain. You see the little slur line I have there? When I listen to Billy play this, it sounds like he plays the open two in quick succession there. And then there's a little pause before he plays the open two. So I'm going to start here and I'm going to try to show you how he, he puts those two notes kind of together. So the bass run. Okay, so once again. So let's play from here, and I want to count it down towards the end now. So it's bass run on the fifth string. Now fourth string, open, four, open, thumb two, together, open, two, open, four, open, play four and slide to five, back to four, and then open, two, open. And that gets us to the squiggly line. And then all you would do is come back and play all those same things again until you get to the red dot. And then you would just go to the end.